Have you bought a product recently and felt there's a significant decrease in quality from a similar product that you bought 5 or say 10 years ago? Well, don't worry, that's basically all of us. Let me tell you my story. We had a mixer grinder at our home from brand X. This mixer grinder worked for a good 15 to 20 years before breaking down. Since the repair cost was high, we decided on getting a new one. And since brand X gave us such a durable product, we decided on going with brand X again. But guess what? This time around, right from the day when we got the product, it felt cheap. The body plastic was a substandard quality and the parts were wobbly. And just after a year and a half, finally the mixer grinder gave way. Just a couple months from when its warranty was void. It almost felt like it was planned. So that we are left with no other choice but to buy a new one. And it was just a mixer grinder in my case. But I'm sure almost all of you must have faced something similar. In your case, it can be your mobile phone, a light bulb, a fan, a computer mouse, or basically any other product. Well, this is happening because of a policy used by brands called planned obsolescence, at times also referred to as built-in obsolescence or premature obsolescence. Let's go back in time to understand the concept. America in the 1920s. The streets are full of excellent quality of cars, which are extremely well-built and durable. Everyone is happy. But one fine day, the executive of General Motors, Alfred P. Sloan Jr., realizes that the sales are not going up like they used to. People are just not buying enough cars. Sloan then decides on changing the design of every model annually, thinking that existing car owners will be convinced to buy new replacements. And guess what? It worked. The fear of missing out did make car owners buy new cars. And that's how planned obsolescence was born. Talking from a design point of view, aesthetics is just one way how to make a product obsolete. This includes bringing in new products with better aesthetics, which will make the owners replace the old ones thinking they are not cool anymore. Other ways of deliberately shortening the lifespan of a product can be done by using materials and technology in a way so that the product detrimentally functions or ceases to function after one point of time. Hey, I'm not naming any brand here, but again, we all know there are mobile phones whose batteries start draining profusely after a year of use. And then there are mobile phones which get so slow after a year that it takes them five minutes to open the phone book. Planned obsolescence works best in case of an oligopoly, a market which is dominated by very few sellers, but these sellers are huge. Buyers are mostly brand loyal in such cases. And when a planned obsolescence is introduced by these brands, which the buyers are unaware of, they buy the replacements from the same big brands. Some brands go even further. They make their products so difficult and costly to repair that you'll decide on getting a new one instead. Again, I'm not naming a brand. Well, that will be all for today's video. I hope you liked the topic. Let me know in the comments about a brand which practices planned obsolescence. And don't forget to subscribe the channel for more such content. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, stay safe, have fun. Thank you.